Hey everyone, Scotty Wick here to take you through the under the glass of the Leprechaun King. We're going to talk through the story, the rules, and uh, how you can score better at the Leprechaun King. So let's kick it off with the story. It's pretty straightforward. We really wanted to make a table that captured the folklore um, of Irish Leprechaun uh, I guess stories really and and everything that goes along with it with the rainbows and the key and the gold and uh, the fun music and you know drinking at the tavern and everything that goes along with that and your goal here is really to find the keep at the end of the rainbow to get a key to get in there and then ransack that thing for all the gold you can get and obviously the table is made for kind of uh, based on traditional layouts of pinball a little bit older no ramps uh, necessarily technically there's a ramp up to the gold that raises when the um, you know when multi-ball starts but really it's a no ramp um, table with targets drop targets and um, walls that come down and stuff like that so really playing with a, a traditional set of items and um, kind of building on that with a, with a new fun rule set. So first to give thanks to all the great people that helped me with this table. My role in this was to the story design, rule design, the shot layout, um, and, and obviously the development of, of the table itself. The art was done by Victoria Fernandez, the voiceover by Danny Tiger, 3D modeling by Sophia Silva, the Dauphin MX LEDs by Danny Hemming, uh, playtesting by Rick Lombach, and the music and the soundtrack is all done by Slancha, which, Slancha, I have a, a bit of the local product here. Probably why my cheeks are red. Um, put a little color in your cheeks. But let's go ahead and get this started. And what I'm going to be using here is going to be the ball roller, so it will make things a little weird sometimes. Uh, it'll hit targets too many times, stuff like that. But, but, um, but it makes it easier for me to roll through this. All right. So first out of the gate, we have our we have our uh, skill shot there lit. And what you need to do is the ball is going to fly up here. Generally, you're going to try to hold it or trap it off this flipper and get a really nice soft. Um, plunge to it and then you're gonna try to go for this target so you only have so long you see I took too long um, but you only have so long to hit it you see there this ball roller hit that target like 98 times <laughs> so um, you know again get used to that um, but that's part of the deal um, so you're trying to hit that and then from there you're gonna be trying to collect shots to do a few different things. One of the things is you want to collect shots to try to upgrade your table score, which we'll talk a little bit later about what that does. You want to get a key, and ideally you want to stash a ball and stash some gold in the um, tavern lock up there in the, in the chest. Um, and so in doing that, you're going to need to use all the tools at your disposal. Um, first one being your ball save so you have a kickback here a kickback is available over here but it's not lit out of the start what you have to do is if your left is still lit and obviously these move if you flip right so if you were able to light them all and have your left one lit already you'll see here we're going to get a right one if you have both of those you're sitting in a really good spot um, because you also have a, a drain post here which has a nice rubber on it that'll bounce the ball back out. So you can really stay alive a good amount of time if you're using both your out lanes and your drain post. So make sure to do that. And you'll see here on the drain post, it's going to be your ball save. It'll you know, show you when you have that. It's also going to allow you to do your extra ball, which you can see over here. You get extra ball by getting to table score level 4. Um, once you get there, it's going to light. Uh, it's going to move back and forth on the lanes, um, and you just have to roll over it while it's lit, and then you'll get the extra ball. So you're really going to, you know, obviously want to get to that. Table score level 4 is important for multiple reasons, but obviously extra ball is really important. I was talking about, um, well, we'll come back to table score in a second. But um, things we want to do on this table, obviously we want to we, need to, we need to get in here. This is closed, I can't get in. 
either side. Both of these are closed. We don't know where the keep is yet, in the, as the story goes in this. We don't know where the, where the keep is. But what we have to help us with this is we have this sweet rainbow machine in the middle. Um, and what that's going to do is when we power, that, power this bad boy up, it's going to show us where the keep is. So we're going to be spinning this. You can see there, now that this is up, we're able to get through there, but the keep is locked. So you can see it's, it's locked. We don't have a key. So if we try to go in, we ain't getting in. Um, so to get a key, obviously, right here, we're going to hit that key. And pop it there and drop in. So now we have a key. So we're sitting in a good spot. And again, sorry, this ball roller hit the thing 98 times. But you can see here, this is lit to go collect the gold. We have both the rainbow and the key. But... You kind of want an extra ball in that multi ball. And to do that, you need to stash the gold here. You can see this leprechaun's having a good time. He's got a big frothy beer. We're going to lock it in the tavern um, and get an extra ball locked. Now, when we go into multi ball, we're going to have an extra ball, which is pretty awesome. And that's going to be awesome for a few different reasons. But obviously, you want an extra ball in multi ball. It's going to make it easier to score higher. So, let's talk about scoring higher. Um, this is where this table gets a, um, a little tricky uh, and a little awesome. Um, I, I would say this is the most awesome part of the table, so um, it is going to be a little difficult. So let's let's think through about about how it is. Every shot on the table is the first part. Every shot on the table is a multiplier of the table score. So let's just say, for example, that that this right here, this rollover, uh, was ten points. Well, it's only going to be ten points if I'm on table value level one which you can see on the back class over here on, on the left that I'm one nine and what that means is that I have all nine here I'm up to 90 but I'm still table value one so uh, it would still be 10 points for that rollover now if I got table level score two now it's 20 points table level score three 30 points 40 50 60 so on level one, to get to level one, it's nine shots. Each shot fills up one of these. And then you can see here, I've got my table score upgrade flashing at me. It really wants me to do that. Uh, and it is crazy important to do that. Because now, and this might hit it enough times that it'll go up twice, so hopefully not. Yeah, so I just cut it up once. So you can see there, my table score is upgraded. Um, so now everything is essentially double points. Which, so like, you really want to get your table score upgraded fast, um, right out of the gate, because uh, you're going to want that. And so when we go into multi-ball here, all this applies to multi-ball um, in the fact that your jackpots, they start at 100,000 for a jackpot, but I'm a table score level two. So for me now, they're 200,000, which is already Way, you know, it's a, I mean, why get a jackpot for 100,000 when you can upgrade your table and get it to 200,000? And if you think, um, you know, keep going all the way to nine or all the way to six, then yeah, it just goes up and up. The problem is, and why where it gets hard, is that was only nine shots for the first time, which um, easy enough, nine shots, no big deal, I can do that. But um, next table score is going to be 27 shots all the way it goes exponentially up all the way until where if i get if i were able to get max table score which would be six nine um so essentially level seven if i get to level seven that's 540 shots at that point um which is doable i know some people who've done it but man that's a big old that's a big old day to try to get that many shots and the thing is, is it restarts every ball um, so you need to, uh, you need to really pile it on if you're going to get there, have some pretty long, long, good, good stretches there. Uh, so what we're going to do, it, it doesn't restart from the start, I should say. It restarts from the level you're at. So if you were at six, eight, we'd go back to six, one, uh, the start of the ball. So you need to cap it per ball. Um, yeah, so we have everything open. So obviously jackpots are doubled. Uh, they're going to be two, 200,000 instead of 100,000. And while you're in jackpot, you have the ability to relock the balls here. If you relock it here, that's going to be 
2x table score. So now my 200,000 just went to 400,000. And if I put uh, one over here, why, so I lock two balls while I'm in multi-ball, so then I would still have one ball to play with. Then that would be 3x jackpot. So my 200 just now went to 600,000. So I'm getting 600,000 per jackpot. Here's the second part. The last part of the multiplication is each leprechaun goes up a level too. So we're at 1x right now. Le leprechaun 2 would be 2x. So let's talk. We just had 600,000 because we have table score level 2 and we would have 2x play field for hitting there, 3x for hitting this one. If we run leprechaun 2, that 600,000 is now 1.2 million per jackpot right so if it was level three obviously that'd be 1.8 million um so you, you, obviously each one of these gets harder each leprechaun gets harder and that's the keys the key in the tavern lock gets harder um so this was just one target to get there this guy would be two targets to open it up this one would be three targets to open it up o'donnell they if you hit one down it will come back up every 20 seconds and King Quinn, they come back up every 10 seconds. So it's like, it's really hard. I, I've never gotten there. Um, but again, I know people who have. But it's uh, really hard. So let's go ahead and start this multi ball. And I'm just going to take the ball roller off and play it and see what I can do. I probably you know, won't do that well. But what I want to do is I want to try to hit the pot of gold up at the top here. So up here, this pot of gold. I want to hit that pot of gold. And if I do, it's going to turn all the balls gold, which is super fun. Um, and then i mean ideally i want to obviously i want to lock some balls so i can multiply the table and just really get these jackpots going so i'm going to play this one and uh, we'll see how it goes oh i dropped the ball somewhere where did it go oh, there it is <laughs> yeah that was weird all right let's play this bad boy so I'm going to try to get a ball relocked pretty quickly if I can. I don't really care about those going out. Well, I'll go ahead and take the jackpot, I guess, but oh, another one. I'm just trying for trying to relock a ball here. Get. No. It's fine. All right, we're going to go for this one. All right, so now we're double play field. Now I want to go ahead and try to cash that double jackpot. Get a nudge there. See if I can... Nope. Almost. If I can try to get in the other one, I can go for a triple for a while. Now I'll take another double jackpot. So you can... Uh, oh, I tilted out. Oh, no, it's tilt warning. I almost tilted out. That would have been sad. But uh, I got quite a few double jackpots there, which is pretty good. And uh, and now I'm obviously I would try to power up the Rambo machine again. Hopefully I'd be getting my table, um, getting my table score up because you know that way it's going to boost me. I got you know I got up to three million there, um, so not bad. But you're gonna you know you're gonna need a lot higher table score value and maybe some triple triple jackpots. You can see also the key has now got two targets in front of it because this as well as the tavern up there um as the uh you know we're on the second guy here and he's harder to get to so everything's going to get a bit harder but this table again it's it's going to be based on old school table style so you need to be using all your traditional tricks your uh, flipper pass i mean post pass there um you know, backhanding items, whether that's going backhanding through the rainbow or trying to, uh, you can get the key by backhanding if you're so clever, if you give it a little guy and then, you know, right, like that. So, uh, that, that was really lucky I did that the first time. But, um, you know, obviously want to take that score upgrade. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's, should play like a traditional table and, and a lot of fun stuff in here. Um, each, Leprechaun that you get to has different callouts, so that's fun too. Um, each each one is a different character. Some are a little bit more angry than others. They sound somewhat the same, but they're one might be a little more fun. One might be a little more angry. Anyways, hope you guys have fun with the table. That's my walkthrough, and uh, 
you know, slaunch you to you and uh, have fun playing the table. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys, for playing.